<clears throat> Hello, this is Cuckoo. I'm right between the videos. I don't know what to do. I have a million ideas and uh, I have a lot of projects that I, I want to be done with and I've been working with, but it didn't turn out that easy. So it's taking more time and then I'm losing patience. Always happens. But then, you know, losing patience and uh, struggling is part of the whole thing of being creative and doing creative stuff like a whole album for instance very creative and you need to pull through you need to go through see it through to the end otherwise you'll never reach the end and it won't be easy to reach the end <laughs> and I, I know it uh, right now I'm not working with an album I should be it's also something of one of the million things that I want to do I want to finish the next album actually I've got two albums on a backlog that I really want to finish and yeah but what I'm working with right now is right there it's the push push three it came out and I've got one I've been learning how to use it and that's very straightforward you know it is what it is it's it's a machine you can learn how to use it and then when you know it it's just something you know how to use but the push doesn't have its own identity when it comes to sound because it's a computer program basically in the box and you can do whatever sound you like whatever not whatever workflow you like but a lot of different workflows and it took me a good while to to kind of yeah become one with the idea of what I wanted to do with the push three uh, came in like yeah let's go it's uh, Ableton Live in a box so cool learning learning and then what now what music do I want to do with a push three and I didn't come up with an answer because typically what I do is I find inspiration within the sound identity of the different machines that I'm using and that is kind of leading the way towards some music that I want to create but this one is it an open slate? It's a clean, a clean paper, a white uh, sheet of paper. And where do you go from that? And it took me a good while. Right now, uh, I know what I want to do, and that requires a lot of sound design up front uh, before I, I'm going to make some cool videos <laughs> with it. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. I wanted to finish something with a push three before I'm going on holiday, but yeah, I, I couldn't make it in time. Sorry for that. I, uh, I'm really looking forward to show you what I would like to do. For. Mostly it's like my primary idea is to have something that is like super tailored for swift song sketching and jamming out ideas from scratch you're sampling stuff like from any place you want and then just making very quick ideas still my my idea it just requires a lot of uh, pre-production i think and uh yeah cool so that's the push now i um i bought a new mirror and <laughs> who cares not sure what the point of this whole video is that I, I think what I'm trying to say is that right between a lot of projects and between a lot of ideas and trying to pinpoint this feeling that I'm having right now which is it's it's like I'm in this very open um, open desert with lots of stuff surrounding me and they're very far away everything is far away and I can't really grasp it and pull it towards me I need to, to go there and see for myself what it is that I want to do and sometimes I think it's like a form of procrastination you, you instead of just going there and exploring it I kind of feel like I really I know what I'm gonna find there is it worth my time going there and finding out? No, not really. I'm just sitting here 
doing nothing instead. And it's been a little bit like that for um, yeah, for this year. 2023 has been a little bit of um, ups and downs. Yeah. And a bit too much downs when it comes to the creative flow that I really want to. I don't have a, a solution on how to get the creation, creative flow going. Uh, I'm not a machine, so I can't just turn on a switch. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of tough times sometimes. Being a creator for nobody else than for yourself requires self-discipline. I have discipline, but not always. If I, I if I on, if I'm on a course, I'm setting a, a deadline for myself, and I know, like for instance, I'm going to play a show. I know what to do. It's a deadline. Okay, I got focus and discipline. And right now, I. I feel like I haven't had a lot of discipline in the last couple of months. Although, one thing that I have started doing is the tuning the Unicorda myself. And the reason why you haven't seen me playing it so much is because the first time I tuned it, um, my my tuning hammer was not very good. And it, and it, it kind of almost started damaging the the what's it called, the, the knobs, and uh, I totally freaked out. So I've uh, ordered a, let's see, here it is, a professional, really chunky, good piece of tuning hammer, and this one, it's so good. It's, yeah, it's like night and day. If you're gonna buy yourself a, a tuning hammer for your piano, don't buy a cheap one buy the real deal you might actually damage your piano if you have a, a cheap one um, I know there are different sizes and stuff but it was the right size it just wasn't good so this one super good so I started to tune the piano which is really nice really nice also a thing maybe you, you hear it in the background here I try to kind of expand it away but you can probably hear it it's the noise in this room has returned probably because it's so incredibly warm this summer so the, the air condition and uh, ventilation has been increasing slowly but surely and now it's at this level where I can't work here and uh, I gotta have to again deal with this through the manager of the building say like this is not suitable for music production it's driving me nuts and that's also one of these dampers it's just like uh, I'm, uh, I don't know what to do it's kind of out of my hands so yeah trying to stay level trying to not complain trying to yeah be very um, concrete in what I can do and just do that instead. Yeah. Yeah, what else? What else can I tell you between the videos? It's the, the end of June 2023. And I'm um, looking forward to going to, to Greece for a week. That's a little bit on the personal side. Just going to swim in the Mediterranean Sea for a week. So my next video, I might have taken on a, a different skin color and I'm half Greek and the sun does stuff to my skin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I don't have anything more to say, do I? Uh, please let me know in the comments uh, how you feel and if you're having a, a decent summer, a decent year, if you're having trouble concentrating this year like I have uh, on and off and uh, yeah let's try and get through this together I think I'm gonna recharge my batteries uh, on the Greek beach <laughs> and uh, yeah there's something I did every summer whilst growing up uh, 
and uh, really looking forward to doing that again yeah so uh, I'll be back very soon I also I have some stuff that I, I still haven't released a couple of videos from my time in Berlin and uh, so I look forward to that and in the meanwhile I hope you're all gonna have a really nice summer if you have the time to chill out and make music just for fun with, with no pressure just enjoy it See you very soon again, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you again. I'm looking forward to nailing my workflow with a push and to, to start whooping up like idea after idea. And uh, yeah, I think it's the right platform for doing just that. And then afterwards, you, you have all these snippets just in one big project ready to be arranged and taken to the next level. Peace out everyone, much love to you all, and uh, yeah, that's it, see you soon.